Revelation chapter 21. I'm reading from verse 6. And he said unto me, It is done. It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give. Here is the promise. I will give. An unfailing promise, I will give. An infallible promise, I will give. An irreversible promise from the Lord, I will give. Tonight it will happen. I said tonight it will happen. You will not go back home dry. You will not go back home weary. You will not go back home tired and worn out. In Jesus' name, I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life. Tell me the last word freely. It is for you tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. Revelation 22, verse 17. Uh, and the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst, Come. It says, If you are thirsty tonight for the blessing of God, for the overflowing blessing of the Lord, it says, Tonight, Come. And whosoever will, you see there, whosoever will, I said, is she there? Whosoever will, are you there? Let him take of the water of life freely. Take of the water of life freely. Number one is the panting and the passion. But then you have to pray and praise the Lord. You need to open your heart, open your vessel, open your mouth wide before you will feel it. That makes us to point number two in Psalm 42. Psalm 42, we're reading from verses 4 and 5. Psalm 42, verses 4 and 5. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. You cannot pour out your soul with the lid on the vessel, with the cover on the vessel. You have to remove the cover. You cannot seal your mouth, close your mouth, and then pour out your soul. You have to open your mouth. I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God. You know, many people do not understand the house of God is the house of prayer. The house of God is where we come to pour out our body, pour out our sorrow, pour out our thirst, pour out our desires. He say, I pour out my soul. As I've gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of God. With my voice, with the voice of joy and praise. And with the multitude, I kept the holy day, not holiday, the holy day. The people that take the holy day as a holiday. They won't come to church, for them it's holiday. It's for picnic, it's for photographs. Is for the beach, is for whatever. But he says, because I have a need and I want to pour out my soul, I want to seek the Lord, I take that day as a holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God as you come to the house of God like you have come today. Your hope will be realized. Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him. The devil wants me to stop praising him. I shall yet praise him. The problems come so that I can stop praising him. I shall yet praise him. The doubts come so that I will not have the answer to my prayer, but I will have the answer to my prayer. You will have the answer to your prayer. I will yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Look at verse 8. Yet the Lord 
will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night, his song shall be with me and my prayer unto the God of my life. The prayer and the praise of a trusting soul. Psalm 62. We're looking at verse 8. Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times. Trust in him at all times. Trust in him. Tell me. When you are sad, trust in him. When you are sick, trust in him. When you feel dry, trust in him. When you are at a crossroad, trust in him. When it appears things are upside down in the family, trust in him. Everything will come the right side up in Jesus' name. Trust in him at all times. The ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. For me, God is a refuge. He will not fail you. He will not fail me. He will not fail you when you are in trouble. He will answer your prayer. From tonight and every day as you pour out your soul in prayer, as you pour out your soul in praise, while you are praying and praising the Lord, the answers will come down from heaven. He will not deny you. You will not be denied. Psalm 46, verse 1. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Read that again. God is my refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Read that again now. God is my refuge. A, a, and strength, a very present help in trouble. No trouble will drown you. You will not stop this journey halfway. The reason God has called you is going to fulfill in Jesus' name. Only pray, only praise the Lord and trust Him with your soul and your answer will come in Jesus' name. Verse 2, therefore, will not we fear? Any person afraid there? Therefore, will we not fear? I said, anybody afraid there? Some people, are, they are afraid of this, our country. Are you afraid? Some people are afraid of the powers of the air, principalities and powers. Are you afraid? Some people are afraid in the day, afraid in the night. Are you afraid? Some people are afraid of the economy. Are you afraid? Some people, they have jobs and they have everything, you know, but they're still afraid. They're still afraid. It says, therefore will we not fear. Therefore shall I not fear. I didn't hear you. Let the heavens hear you. Let even the devil hear you. Therefore, will we not fear as a church? We're not afraid. The future of the church is in the hand of the Almighty God. Our present dominion is in the hand of the Almighty God. Therefore, will we not fear, though the earth be removed? And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, whatever we hear, whatever we see, whatever we feel, whatever people are spreading, all the rumors, we will not fear. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof, shall make glad the city of God. We shall be glad. The holy place of the tabernacles of the most high. God is of the midst of her. Is God there with you? 
I said, is God there with you? God, the Savior, is he there? The strengthener, is he there? The healer, is he there? The redeemer, is he there? God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. God shall help you. God shall help us. Tell me the rest. Tell me the rest. Say it, say it. Let me hear you. God will not be late on your case. God will not be late as you pray and as you praise the Lord right early in time. The blessing will come upon you in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I'm reading from verse 3. Second Chronicles 20 verse 3. And Jehoshaphat feared you've gone beyond that level now. I said you've gone beyond that level now. And Jehoshaphat feared, but you will not fear. And set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And then we come to verse 12. Verse 12, it says, Oh, our God, you see this, pouring out his soul in time of trouble, in time of danger, in time of insecurity, in time of sickness, in time of perplexity, in time of poverty, in time of joblessness, when you pour out your soul, everything will turn around. Oh, our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. We are longing after him, our eyes are upon thee. We are panting after him, our eyes are upon thee. Will he answer your prayer? Verse 20, verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. This is the person who was afraid in verse 3. And now in verse 20, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Anybody believing the man of God, the word of God that he speaks there today? Where are you? You are prospered already. Yeah. You are delivered already. Yeah. That problem is over. Yeah. Verse 21, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that they should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord. Somebody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. While the Ammonites are still preparing to fight against you, somebody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. While the Moabites are still on their way and they are bragging, I will finish him. I will finish her. Somebody praise the Lord. While it appears your body is still telling another story. I am sick. I am weak. I don't know. I'm feeling somebody shout praise the Lord. He says praise the Lord for his mercy and it for how long? The mercy of the Lord will be upon you forever. From now, from henceforth till forever, mercy, mercy, and mercy upon your life in Jesus' name. Verse 22, and when they began to sing, 
And when they began to sing, problem will not take the song out of your mouth. Sickness will not take the song out of your mouth. And all the sorrow and the sadness and the complaints of the world will not take the song out of your mouth in Jesus' name. And to praise the Lord sent ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, Mount Seir, which were come against Judah. Tell me. I said, tell me about your enemies. Tell me about your oppressors. Tell me about the people that want to destroy you. Tell me about what you were afraid of yesterday. And they were smitten. I rejoice with you. Congratulations. I say, congratulations. Your battle is over. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Seir, utterly to slay and to destroy them. And when they had made an edge of the inhabitants of Seir, every one of your enemies helped to destroy another. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, what am I seeing here? And behold, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. None escaped. You will sing again. You will shout again. You will praise the Lord again. Psalm 40, Psalm 40, we're reading from verse 3. Psalm 40, verse 3. And he has put a new song in my mouth. I said, he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it. I see you singing. Many shall see it. I see you rejoicing. Many shall see it. I see you testifying. And fear, and they shall trust in the Lord. Because of what God will do in your life, many will trust in the Lord. What God will do on your child, many will trust in the Lord. What God will do on your daughter-in-law, your son-in-law, many will trust in the Lord because of you. What God will do on your daddy, on your mommy, many will rejoice and they trust in the Lord in Jesus' name. They thought everything was over, but we are starting life all over again. Verse 4, blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respected not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. And thy thoughts, which are thus words, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Your miracles, innumerable. Outcome of your prayer, innumerable. Exploits in your life, innumerable you begin to see great manifestation of power from today that you have ever seen in your life Isaiah chapter 50 Isaiah chapter 50 I'm reading from verse 10 who is among you that fearest the Lord that obeys the voice of his servant that, walk, that walketh in darkness that has no light, let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Because things 
are going to be different from now on. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. Romans chapter 4, verse 18. Who against hope believes in hope. There's nothing hopeless in your life. Nothing hopeless in your family. Nothing hopeless about your loved ones. You have, uh, you know, somebody overseas and you have somebody far away and they're sending letter, they're sending SOS, help our soul. They say, I'm going through this and that tonight. Right back to them, things have changed. Because nothing hopeless in your extended family again in Jesus' name. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Barrenness is cancelled. And be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb is staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, no more staggering. I said no more staggering, no more unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. Any fully persuaded person here today and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, tell me, what he had promised, what he had promised was able also to perform today is a day of performance acts chapter 16 acts chapter 16 verse 25 acts chapter 16 verse 25 the prayer and the praise of a trusting soul the prayer and the praise of a trusting soul who am I talking about? I'm talking about you. You'll pray and you'll praise the Lord. Look at what will happen. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises, prayer and praise unto God. And the prisoners had them. And tell me, tell me how your problem will vanish away. Tell me how the joy will come. Tell me how your body will be rolled away. Tell me how your body will be healed. Tell me how the oppression will vanish away. Tell me how the demon's power will be broken. Tell me how the job will come. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. Amen. So that the foundations of your prison are shaking. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands on that side, on this side, on that side, over there, everywhere, everyone's bands, my brother, everyone's bands, my sister, everyone's bands, my boy, my girl, everyone's bands one loose. Thank God today is the day. We're coming to point number three now. And we're coming to Psalm 42. Psalm 42. I'm reading from verse 6. Psalm 42. We're looking at verse 6. The priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. The priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. Verse 6, Psalm 42. Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, when I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hammonites and from the hill of Misa. Verse 11. Why hast thou cast down, O my soul? Why? A doubt disquieted within me. Hope in God. My brother, 
Are you there? Hope in God. Dear sister, are you there? Answer me now. Hope in God. Those problems you see today, you'll see them no more in Jesus' name. For I, for I, somebody for I, somebody for I, say it, for I shall yet praise him. Why, why am I losing your voice? I shall yet praise him. Who is the health of my countenance and my God? Your time has now come. I said your time has now come. It's a priority. It's a pursuit. Look at Matthew chapter 6. And I'm reading from verse 31. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 31, therefore, take no thought, no anxiety tonight, no worry tonight, no palpitation of the heart tonight. Give me good, good amen. No perplexity tonight, no confusion tonight. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or where with them shall we be closed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Amen. Amen. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And tell me. Put your name there. And tell me all. I said, put your name there, and all, all these things shall be added unto you. All, all, somebody shout all. all. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, for us all. How many people? For us all. For how many people? For us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Freely give us, tell me, all things. Tonight is your night. Third John, third epistle of John. I'm reading from verse 2. Third epistle of John, verse 2. Beloved, any beloved child of God here today? Beloved, beloved brother, beloved sister, beloved child, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Look at him, verse talking about me. I said he's talking about me. It's talking about me, that thou mayest prosper. Amen. And be in health. Amen. Even as thy soul prospereth, you will prosper in everything you do. Your health will come back to the optimum again in Jesus' name. And your soul will prosper in Jesus' name. As we seek the Lord, we're going to find the blessing of the Lord. Your soul should not be cast down. Your soul should not be weary. You should not be tired of the journey. You should not think that anything is over. Nothing is over. We're starting afresh. New strength. New power. New courage. New blessing healing in your body, strength in your soul, power in your spirit, prosperity on your job, and the work of God will prosper in your hand in Jesus' name. Let's rise up today. Today is the day of blessing. Today is the day of seeking after the Lord. Open your mouth, and the Lord said he will fill up your mouth. 
open up your mouth, open your mouth, and the Lord says, I will fill you with blessing. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell your soul not to be perplexed. Tell your soul not to be worried. Tell your soul not to be anxious. Tell your soul not to be hopeless. Tell your soul not to give up and say, Lord, I'm here today. Today is the day of my blessing. Today is the day of my turning around. Today is the day it will wipe out all my tears. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. My heart is panting. My heart is longing. My heart is desiring. My heart is after something. I must be blessed today. I must be blessed today. Wilderness experience is over. Desert experience is over. Hopelessness is over. Sadness is over. Here is your day, the day of blessing. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. And I will feel it. He brought water out of the rock. He'll bring honey out of the rock for you. He'll bring blessing out of the rock for you. That rock is Christ. Happiness in him. Joy in him. Revival in him. Refreshing in him. Power in him. Authority in him. Healing in him. Deliverance in him. Hope thou in God. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways, as your son have subdued their enemies. The Ammonites will conquer themselves. The Moabites will conquer themselves. Your enemies will conquer themselves. He will turn his mighty hand against your adversary. And the haters of the Lord shall have submitted themselves. They shall have fed them also with the finest of wheat. And with honey out of the rock. Honey out of the rock. Honey out of the rock. Would I have satisfied them? Tonight is the night of your satisfaction. Disappointment is gone. Discouragement is gone. Tiredness is gone. Weariness is gone. All your doubts are gone. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He will not forget you. He will not forsake you. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him. I shall yet praise him. In the health of my countenance, he is my God. He is your God. He is my God. He has answered your prayer. He has answered your prayer. Now praise him. Now praise him. Now praise him. 
offer him praise. Give him praise. He cannot fail, praise him. He has answered, praise him. He has delivered you, praise him. He has healed you, praise him. He has crushed the enemy, praise him. He has taken your fears away, praise him. He has set you free, praise him. He has given you a new vision, praise him. A new power, praise him. A new vitality, praise him. The Lord is on your side, praise him. Now you're making the priority of your life, the pursuit of your life, the center of your life. And you know you are special, special in the sight of the Lord, beloved, beloved. Beloved, beloved, your soul will prosper, your body will be healthy, and everything you set your hand upon will prosper. Praise him. And make him the priority and the pursuit of your life. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Give on unto him. Exalt him. Magnify him. Praise him. In Jesus' name we pray. And the victorious people of God said, and the hopeful people of God said, and the delivered people of God said, the Lord has answered your prayer. A new strength in your life. From today, you'll go from strength to strength in Jesus' name. Righteousness in your life. Power in your life. Courage in your life. Authority in your life. Victory in your life. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand for your victory. From tonight, you are more than a conqueror. I said you are more than a conqueror. Victory from now all the way in Jesus' name. Authority of the believer in your life from now on in Jesus' name. Power. I said power. Passion. Authority. Answered prayer joy he will do it through your life and in your life in jesus name father in the name of jesus we thank you for the special place you have placed every believer here tonight and i thank you for the victory thank you for the joy thank you for the power thank you for the breakthrough i pray for every brother and every sister Every promise we've heard of today be fulfilled in every life in Jesus' name. Discouragement gone. Disappointment gone. All that pressure, all that opposition gone in Jesus' name. The pain of persecution 
totally scorched and totally crushed and de totally destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, every dry ground will become rivers of living water. Let, be, let there be refreshing in every life. Revival in every life. Renewal in every life. And I pray, Lord, all those who are thirsty for your righteousness, fill them up with righteousness in Jesus' name. All those who are thirsty for Holy Ghost power, I pray that your power will come from the throne of God, come upon them in Jesus' name. Tiredness, gone. Weariness, gone. Lukewarmness, gone. Lethargy all gone. Coldness all gone. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn in every heart in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have missed miracles, miracles, miracles. Every time they have prayed, they have fasted, they have had other prayer for them, and yet what they were looking for, they didn't get today. Today. Today is the day of their answered prayer in Jesus' name. Give them the miracle they need. Give them the blessing they need. And I pray, Lord, this blessing will continue. This power will continue. Everybody without exception will have a testimony in Jesus' name. We know you have answered. We know you have done it. Give a new song to every believer. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Every stronghold every, of the enemy, every activity of the powers of darkness against you, against me, against all our leaders, against all our pastors, against all our women, against all our sisters. Open your mouth and say, God, let God begin to answer by fire and begin to tear down every stronghold of the enemy. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray tonight. You know, if you look at Zechariah chapter 3, there was a high priest that was told us about, we were told about this, you know, this high priest that was uh, that the enemy put on a kind of cloth upon him. And we are going to pray tonight. Do you know that many people, they are like that. The enemy has put upon them that garment of laziness, that garment of prayerlessness, that garment of, you know, lukewarmness and lethargy. They cannot discover, they cannot even read this, they cannot recover strength any longer. We want to pray tonight. Every contrary garment, all those garments of reproach, all the garment of shame, all the garment of prayerlessness, all the garment of carelessness, all the garment of watchlessness that the enemy placed upon our life, we want to tear them into pieces. We want to burn them into ashes. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. All those garments of shame, all the garments of reproaches, open your mouth. Are you praying, bread? Are you praying, brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord wants to hear your prayer wherever you are connected tonight, whether you are in Africa or outside Africa. Open your mouth and pray. It is time to call upon the name of the Lord. Every contrary garment, all the garment of shame, all the garment that the enemy place upon our life, we want to tear them into pieces tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We must conquer every palace tonight. 
We must conquer every lukewarmness tonight. We must conquer every dryness in our soul tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Cry to God and say, Lord, all those garments of shame will tear them into pieces tonight. All the garment of reproaches in our life tonight, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, we tear them, we burn them into ashes tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let God arise tonight and those garments will, will be torn into pieces and be burned by fire tonight because our God is a consuming fire. Even a jealous God, open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, all those garments of shame, I tear them into pieces. I burn them into ashes tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. Remember, I told us, he said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. We want to tell the Lord tonight, for every arrow that the enemy targeted against your life, against your family, against your ministry, against your spiritual life. In this end time, the, whatever may be the arrow, arrows of affliction, arrows of sicknesses, arrows of untimely or premature death, we want to command those arrows now. Everything to go back to where it's coming from. Go back now to the standard. In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Every arrow that the enemy fired against your life, against your family, against your wife, against your husband, against your children, against your ministry, against your business, against your financial, against your financial life. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, right now, I command those arrows now. Be shattered into pieces tonight in the authority of the name of Jesus. Because at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name bow. Pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Every arrow of affliction in your body, your system, I command those arrows now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. All those arrows of sicknesses, all the arrows of affliction, all the arrows of untimely death, premature death, we destroy everything tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray Amen. once again. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Let me read the Bible before I take this prayer request. In the book of Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. Please turn your Bible with me to the book of Matthew chapter 18. And I want to read from verse 18. Matthew chapter 18. From verse 18. He said, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth. I want you to understand. He said, Verily. Jesus is talking to you. He's directing that statement to you and to me. He said, Verily. Assuredly. Nothing can change it. He said, It is confirmed. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, he shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. And thank God we are more than two here on this platform. Verse 20, he said, For we are two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them. We want to pray. We want to tell the Lord. Remember the word of the Lord. He said, upon this rock, I build my church. Upon this rock, I build my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. We want to ask God. Every gate of hell fighting and militating against our church, the church of the living God, the church of God in this end time, that doesn't want the church to make progress. They don't want the church to evangelize. They don't want the people of God to evangelize. We want to ask God, all the gate of hell, 
all the gate of powers of darkness, all the gate of principality. Let them begin to crumble tonight. Let them begin to crumble tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, every gate of hell, fighting against the church of God, fighting against the ministers, fighting against the pastors, fighting against the workers, open your mouth and tell God and say, God, let those gates of yeah, hell begin to receive the fire of God. Let them begin to crumble tonight because every plan which my heaven has been rooted up. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every demonic position in all our churches, open your mouth and ask God whether at the state level, at the region level, at the group of district yeah, level, at the district level, the level one, in the house like church, in all the locality, in all the local government, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. And say, God, tonight, we pull down every strong good of the enemy. All the gates yeah, of hell, let them begin to collapse. Let them begin to collapse tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open yeah. your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, arise, O oh God, tonight and begin to fight on behalf of your church, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray once again tonight concerning the church of God again. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, set your church on fire. Fire of revival. Fire of renewal. Fire of holiness. Fire of purity. Fire of prayer and supplication. Lord, bring it back once again. Open your mouth and begin to pray. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer and not a den of thieves. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to pray? Let's call upon the name of the Lord that the spirit of prayer and supplication will come upon everyone. Upon all our members, upon all our brothers, upon all our sisters, open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, God, release the fire once again into all our churches, oh God. Lord, let the fire fall once again. Let there be a revival. Let there be a revival. Revival of serious praying. Revival of endless praying. Revival of fervent praying. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let God begin to visit every church now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's pray for all our pastors, beginning from our general superintendent to all our state overseers, region overseers, national overseers, all our group pastors, all our district pastors, all our local government pastors, open your mouth and begin to pray. And by extension to all the workers, let the fire of God begin to come down once again. Let that be revival. Will that not revive us again, oh God, that your people may rejoice in you? We actually need revival once again. Holy Ghost revival in the church. Holy Ghost awakening power in the church. Awakening every soul, awakening every life. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let God begin to visit us again. Let God visit his church again. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 I want to lift up this prayer request. We want to pray for some special cases. Some special cases amidst us. In the church, we have some of our brethren. They have been married for one year, three years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and yet they have been waiting on the Lord. And the promise of God unto us is that there shall be none barren in our land. I want you to agree. I want us to agree together tonight because I, that's why I read that Matthew chapter 18. And he said that if two of us shall agree on earth and touching anything that we shall ask of the Lord, he said it will be done unto us by our Father which is in heaven. We are going to pray tonight for all our waiting brothers and sisters, all those brothers and sisters who are looking up unto God for the fruit of the womb. And they have been asking God, oh God, when will he get to my tongue? Oh God, when are you going to give me my Samuel? Oh God, when are you going to attend to my need? We want to leave them before the Lord. The Bible says, God said, he said, can a woman forget a sucking child that she should not have compassion? 
on the son of a womb. He said, yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget you. We want to pray and say, God, open the book of remembrance before all these our brethren. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, open the book of remembrance before all these our brethren, oh God, who are looking up unto you in the area of the fruit of the womb. Whatever thing that is wrong in the body of the wife, in the body of the husband, let God begin to do a recre a recreational work now. Even oh. upon the life, let God begin to recreate every part of the body that is not functioning well. Everything begin to function properly. Open your mouth oh, and your mind. Mind. Our God is still in the business of doing miracles. Our God never fails. Our God answers prayer. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Open the book of remembrance, oh God, before all this burden, oh God of heaven. Do it once oh, again, oh God, in their lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We want to pray for uh, for family again. Amen. You know, there are some family. They are having a lot of issues. Issues, strangers have come into the family. And they are tormenting such families. And they are, they are under the torment of the enemy. And they are crying. Crying every day and night. And when I say strangers, sometimes... If the devil can just plant somebody there, maybe in form of in-laws, there is nothing wrong for somebody to have an in-law. But there are some, they, have, they want to fulfill the will of the devil. And so they want to cause catastrophe. And so they want to cause pandemonium. They want to cause confusion. And they want to bring, they want to bring tears into the eyes of the husband and the wife. We want to pray tonight. Let me read a passage to us. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, verse 17. Please, if you have your Bible, just go along with me because I read that passage now. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 17. He said, Thy children shall make haste. Now look at the latter part. He said, Thy destroyers, thy destroyers, and they that made thee wait, go forth of thee. All those destroyers that have come into the family, those are the strangers. The Lord will pursue them. The power of God will pursue them. The fire of God will chase them out of those families in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Pray for those family concerned. All the family that strangers have entered there and they are causing promotion between the husband and the wife. We want to ask God and say, God, all those destroyers, all those that make them waste, they will go forth out of that family. Right now, begin to speak the word of authority, the word of power and authority now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let God begin to command deliverance now, even upon those families. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray now. We want to call upon the Lord. There are some families listen to me very well. They cannot. The husband cannot see the wife eyeball to eyeball. Commotion, confusion, division, pandemonium in the family. Why? Because somebody has taken the name, has taken the picture of the husband and the wife to the shrine of the devil. And they are tormenting them. They are not there. Mm. We are going to pray. Wherever they are taking the all the name, the picture of the husband and the wife too. We want to pray. God of heaven will answer them by fire. He will answer by fire tonight. And begin to scatter and begin to demolish all those altars of the devil. All those shrines of Satan. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. And say, God, here. They have taken your name too. They have taken the name of the husband and the wife too. Open your mouth and say, God, arise tonight and begin to answer them by fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God begin to arise and begin to demolish every work of the devil right now. In those families concerned, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. My time is almost up. I want to just give this last request before we uh, before I hand over to 
our pastor. Now, somebody called me this morning. I want to listen to this request very well. Yes, it's sir. a very positive one. Yes, somebody sir. called me just this morning. Yes, sir. And uh, he happened to be one of my colleagues. And uh, the kidnapper came to his house. It was still. They okay. entered to his house. And then they carried his daughter. And they kidnapped the daughter. And kidnapped the wife of, of his neighbor. And they went away with them. And as I'm up, I'm up to now, as I'm talking to you now, they are still in the in the in the uh, in the in the custody of those people. We want to pray tonight. We want to ask God that the God of heaven will intervene. The only way God will intervene. He will liberate those. He will liberate that girl and that woman from the arm of these strange people. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? The Lord will grant them deliverance. The Lord will set them free. Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God for divine intervention now. Let God begin to have his way. That God, the power of God, will prevail over those kidnappers now. In the mighty